Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to be giving formal definitions to the word alphabet and the word string. So an alphabet is just a finite set of symbols, a finite set of symbols. And an example of an alphabet could be uh, the Roman alphabet, which is uh, what we use for English, contains A, B and so on up to Z. Um, another example could be the binary alphabet, which contains just 0 and 1. So these are both alphabets and uh, an alphabet is generally denoted by the symbol sigma. And uh, then what we can do is we can define a string over some alphabet. So a string um, over some alphabet sigma is uh, a finite set. Uh, actually, it's a finite sequence, sorry, a finite sequence of symbols from uh, that alphabet. So from sigma, that's what a string is. And uh, this actually also includes the empty string, empty string, which is denoted by um, epsilon. So a string over the binary alphabet could be something like 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. Um, as long as it is finite, it's a string over the binary alphabet. So next, what we're going to do is we're uh, also going to look at a, a, more, a more mathematical definition of a string. But before that, um, let's just look at what the length of a string is. And the length of a string is simply the number of symbols. So the number of symbols in the string. And it is denoted uh, like this. For a string w, uh, the length of a string is denoted uh, by mod of w. And um, now we can go ahead and give uh, a slightly more mathematical definition for a string. So a string w can be said to be a function from 1, 2, 3 and so on up to the length of the string to the alphabet sigma. And what this means is that uh, W of J is the symbol at the Jth position, symbol at Jth position. And that symbol is of course going to be something from Sigma. So let's say I have the string um, theory. So in this case, uh, W of 1 equals t, w of 2 equals h and so on and of course here j would go from 1, 2 and so on up to the length of w, uh, the string itself. So that's what a string is and um, in the next video we are going to be looking at what a language is and some operations that we can do on strings such as concatenation and we're going to give a formal definition for that as well. So stay tuned for it.